Good morning, everyone. Um, excited to be here with you this morning as we near the end of this study in Philippians. Only a couple more days after this to go, and we'll conclude week five as well as the book of Philippians. Today, I just want to go right to the text. Um, chapter one, beginning in verse 12. It, Paul writes this, Now I want you to know, brothers, what has happened to me as... <clears throat> has really served to advance the gospel, him being in prison. As a result, it has become clear throughout the whole palace guard and to everyone else that I am in chains for Christ. He has shared Jesus with everyone he's been in contact with. Because of my chains, most of the brothers in the Lord have been encouraged to speak the word of God more courageously and fearlessly. People are empowered, emboldened by the fact that he is in prison because of preaching, and yet he is still preaching and reaching those around us. So those outside are hearing this and are just declaring the word of Jesus even more boldly. It is true that some pre preach Christ out of envy and rivalry, but others out of goodwill. The latter do so knowing that I am put here for the defense of the gospel. The former preach Christ out of selfish ambition, not sincerely supposing they can stir up trouble for me while I'm in chains. But what does it matter? The important thing is that in every way, whether from false motives or true, Christ is preached. And because of this, I rejoice. While these are by no means ideal circumstances that we're living in currently, um, the idea that Christ is preached is really what matters. And so simple things like this and sharing the Word of God in a very simple way with as many people as could possibly ever watch it. I mean, literally anyone in the entire world could watch this short devotion on the book of Philippians and realize that it's Christ's Word, the gospel news of Jesus, is being preached potentially across the globe. It can reach out to as many people as God would have it reach. Um, Yes, we, we long to be together, we, we want to meet, we want to do some of the things we normally do, but whether we do it that way or this way, Paul's emphasis here is, hey, Christ is being preached and being preached very effectively by many, many, many people that had never considered doing things like this before. And so I'll just take a moment and pray for all those ministries across the world that are having to meet in, in ways like this. Pray that the Word of God that the word of that the new good news of Jesus is preached effectively and that people can discover it for the first time. People that would never go in to a church building but might watch something like this and the Spirit can use this to draw them in to the church. Father God, we thank you um, for giving us this platform, this way to study your word. Uh, Father, we want to be encouraged like Paul was, though he was in chains, though people were, were preaching Christ, maybe not for the right reasons, Christ was still being preached just like it is today. While we're not able to meet, not able to do the things maybe we, we like to do, Father Christ is still being preached, and we pray you will use that to reach an untold number of people that have never heard the good news of Jesus before. Thank you for those that are watching. Thank you for those that have been able to join us through this series as we wrap it up later on this week. Father, but most of all, thank you for your word. Thank you for your son and what he did for us. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys for joining us again today. I hope that your day goes well, and I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.